Now, LROC, what does that stand for again? Libertarian Republic, Republican, Republican. I've worked so hard getting away from those Republicans, I can't understand so often since in this past year, frequently I ran into these Republicans within the Libertarian group. Uh, you know, I have, a very strong I have a very strong opinion about it. And that is that it always totally amazed me to think about the amount of credibility that a Republican group within a Libertarian group how much, how much uh, attention they got. People will actually ask them their opinion. Can you imagine the Republicans calling me up, inviting me there to their convention so I can stand out there and do things, or call me up and give me an interview in their publication, themselves, in their Republican publication? Doesn't make any sense. Sure, everybody has a right to their own approach. I don't, I don't necessarily think the approach of libertarianizing some Republicans is such a terrible idea. I think it's a great idea. I happen to follow that for a long time. Where my contention would be is, why in the world would somebody gain very much credibility by allowing them to uh, sort of come in and make use of the libertarian movement to undermine the libertarian party structure? So I think that doesn't make a lot of sense. I think when you don't see that type of activity where the libertarian magazines don't feel compelled and feel guilty if they don't ask, wonder what the Elrock people are thinking. At the time when we don't have to do that anymore, I think we will have matured a little bit more. Thank you very much.